Welcome back survivors. Since Scorched Earth and Bob's Tall Tales dropped there's been a hive of activity on Ark but as with all updates there's also been a deluge of bugs, issues and lack of servers. But we've been given a heads up on what is known and being looked at by Wildcard. So let's take a look at what exactly is going on and whether the issues that you personally are experiencing are on Wildcard's watch list. As always survivors, if you want to keep up with the latest Ark news, make sure to subscribe. So firstly, one of the big issues going on at the moment is a download loop bug that is causing a lot of issues with server transfers. If you don't know what the download loop bug is, well it seems to be where players will upload their survivor and upon downloading their survivor they get the cutscene appear which for some will kick them out and for others if you skip the cutscene it takes you back to the respawn screen therefore people are finding themselves stuck in a loop. This appears to be a priority issue for wildcard and this is why they have temporarily disabled decay timers on the official network because of course people can't access the servers to refresh the timers. However there are other issues of varying levels of importance and of course whether it's a big issue or not is down to personal opinion of each player that experiences the issues. But with so many people raising issues on the ARC Discord, Dolly put a list together of the most common issues raised or asked about recently and the current situation with them. Now this isn't an exhaustive list, this is what just keeps coming in the last few days. If you are having other issues there's a good chance they are aware of them but still report them over on the ARC forums anyway. Bee spawning issues are being looked at on Scorched Earth. There's a lot of reports that bees aren't spawning. Now most of these, if not all of the mentions I've seen on the Discord are coming from console players on Xbox and PlayStation. So I'm not entirely sure if this is a console specific issue. I've certainly seen bees spawning on my own server. Transfer issues is of course the download loot bug that I referred to earlier. Dolly has said that black pearls on Scorched Earth probably need a little buff as many people have been complaining on how little they spawn on the map. This has been acknowledged several times by Wildcard but I suspect compared to other issues like transfers and stability issues this is probably a lot further down the priority ladder but it is a known issue. Auto clicker is working, this is referring to joining servers. A lot of people have been complaining about this and asking for a proper queue system which Wildcard have said many times would likely be abused too easily so they've always refrained from introducing it. So it's not quite clear from this whether they are looking at it or not but they appear to be confident that it is working as intended. Storm frequency, yes they are aware that the frequency of storms might be a bit too high so they may potentially be cutting that down a bit. Dolly said that she feels they are a bit too frequent but right now their priority is transfers, servers, stability and bugs that are preventing people from playing. Once the post launch stuff has settled they'll look at some of the more balancing aspects of the game. They also added 180 new Scorched Earth servers which include PvE, PvP, small tribes and console only servers although I don't think it includes console only small tribes. These servers are the allocated servers for the center map release in June but Wildcard have preempted that release by bringing these servers out early for Scorched Earth to allow more players to experience Scorched Earth and Bob's Tall Tales content. Now this could indicate how many servers they intend to release for the center at launch. I just hope they try to overestimate the numbers this time rather than underestimate. These are therefore temporary servers and will be taken down on June the 1st at which point they will then be changed over to the center on June the 3rd. So assuming people aren't stuck in a download loop this gives people the opportunity to get on a Scorch server and experience the content, get some tames and transfer back out. You can find these temporary servers by searching the word expires in the server list. I think this is actually a pretty good thing for Wildcard to do especially if they aren't in a position to open up hundreds of new permanent servers. It makes sense to make use of the pre-allocated ones. Just make sure you've got your survivor and everything you have off the servers by June the 1st otherwise it will all be gone. 
So survivors, I'm sure some of that covers some of the issues you may have personally been experiencing, but I'm sure there's more issues out there. So let me know if you're having issues that wasn't mentioned in Dolly's list. Thanks for watching survivors and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with the latest ARC news.